So this is just a quick video on how to hook up a switch or a receptacle and a couple differences, a couple things to know. And it's going to be very basic. So if you're in the middle of hooking up a switch or a plug and you're not sure what color goes where, and also if you're doing a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, and you don't know how to wire that, I'm going to show you. It's going to be a real quick video, very, very basic. So let's do a comparison. We have a plug here. This is a 15 amp receptacle versus a another receptacle, but a 20 amp. The difference is this has is rated for more and it has a line horizontal and that'll indicate that it's 20 amp, um, that it's a 20 amp and this is a 15 amp. Okay, this is just a switch, a 15 amp decor switch, and versus another type of switch would have a toggle, which is the single lever. This is a decor style. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to hook those up. This is the GFCI, and this is a, let's get this open, I'll open it on the bottom. And this is a 20 amp GFCI receptacle, and I'm going to show you how to hook this up. So let's start with the very simple, very easiest one of all, which are the, the 15 and the 20 amp receptacles. So the black wire is always going to go on the brass terminal. The white, which is a neutral, will go on the silver terminal. Okay, that's for basic 120 installation. Now, if you have 220, it's going to be a different system, and I'm not going to get into that right now because this is just very basic, and beginners should only be doing working with 120 anyway. So, again, we've got black goes on brass terminal. The white will go on the silver. If your terminals, um, another way without even seeing the terminals, you can look at the slots. So the smaller slot is the hot or the black side and the larger slot is the neutral or the silver side. Okay, so that's very simple there. You can do push, you can push it in in the back if you want, or you can tie it around the screw. Always make the, the wire go in a clockwise direction so when you tighten it, it actually tightens the tightens down onto the wire. Okay, now GFCI, if you're gonna just have this one only working, you're gonna bring your power into the into the line where it says line. You hot in the white and the black. So the white on the silver and the black on the brass. Now, if you want to protect downstream, then you're going to hook the, you're going to take the tape off here, and you're going to hook up uh, the black and white feeding the next receptacle. And the next receptacle doesn't have to even be a GFCI; it could be a one of these regular receptacles. It'll be protected because this one will be controlling it. Okay, so that's that. Now, easiest of all is the switch. I see a lot of people um, making the mistake of putting one black and one white on here thinking that's how you break a switch or a circuit. So you're only going to switch, you're going to break the circuit on the black. So you're going to connect all your grounds and all your neutrals and you're only going to, your feed coming in is going to go to one terminal the black and then going to your next whatever you're switching off the black will go on that terminal so you're only going to be switching across the the black or the power line never the neutral so that's all there is to it and of course there's a lot of uh, more advanced but I want to keep it basic 
so that if you're just doing general things, 120, and uh, again, always tape your terminals when you're done. Make sure everything is tight and make sure tightened very good. You don't want any loose connections and tape all your connections. Make sure everything is grounded. You want a ground coming out of your receptacle and a ground coming out of your box. You're gonna tie those in. Make sure everything is grounded. And check out some of my other how-to tutorials. Thanks for watching.